report on breaking inputs coming in. All right. With breaking inputs uh, with regards to Manipur, we are now learning that CNN News 18 is in fact the first to access the resignation letter of Manipur's Chief Minister Biren Singh. The resignation letter, as we are learning, has been torn by his supporters. Remember, uh, Manipur has been rife with the buzz that Chief Minister M. Biren Singh is going to resign today. And this was first reported in a newspaper in Imphal. But the latest we are now learning is that in, that in fact the news of uh, the chief minister's designation has in fact been uh, confirmed. For more details, let's quickly go across to Kamalika on the phone line. Kamalika, uh, this only seems to be validating the reports that the chief minister is going to resign. Having said that, we were also learning of reports that the chief minister is expected to meet the governor. How soon is that going to happen? See, this entire, uh, this has taken a new turn. As we were reporting that there is a chance that Chief Minister N. Birin Singh, he will, he will want to stay, he wants to step down. And he wanted to step down because uh, the way things were going on and the way, you know, he was very hard, whatever has happened yesterday, how Rahul Gandhi and Congress played it. So for all this reason, he decided that he will step down and that's why he wanted time from the governor. First, he wanted time at 1 p.m., but when the news came up that he is going to resign, he is wanting to resign, his supporters and major people, specifically the Mira Paibis, the woman uh, brigade with the woman torchbearers there, they all actually gathered outside his residence and also in Rajbhavan. So huge number of people, they came and they wanted, you know, they just tried to convince him. They were doing protests there that he cannot resign. At around uh, 12.30, he took a decision that he'll go to the governor's place at 3 p.m. And when, uh, you know, 3 p.m., his car was ready and everything was ready, he was supposed to go out. When he went out, then the huge crowd, they actually stopped him and they convinced, they tried to convince him. And also, and after that, this, this uh, we have got that uh, resignation letter with us. The, the resignation letter was torn. And then he was, the people compelled him not to take such a decision. And now uh, Biren Singh has gone back to his residence. He has told the people that he will reconsider people's demand of not, of him not go, giving the resignation. So right. this is a very big development where he has, uh, he has told the, his supporters that he will rethink his decision. All right, so this is indeed a big development being informed by Kamalika right now that the chief minister has informed that he will perhaps reconsider the uh, decision to resign amid reports that were indicating that the chief minister will be submitting his resignation to the governor. Having said that, Kamalika, take us through the kind of pressure he's been battling because of these ethnic clashes that have been taking place, not to forget the fresh violence that has occurred in Manipur on Thursday. Oh, he is under tremendous pressure for the last two months. Uh, that, you know, obviously he's the chief minister. The law and order the situation in the state is not right. And there were some section and the opposition who were trying to blame him because uh, they were trying to say that he is a part of uh, the Meti community. That's why he is partisan. But what we are getting is from his camp that this was a fight. This is a problem between... The people of Manipur and the illegal immigrants, not between the Metis and the Cookies. That what is, uh, you know, that is also, uh, that is also his point. He is the chief minister of both the sides. It's not that uh, she is the chief minister of one side. So last Sunday he went and he met Amit Shah. Right. There also, you know, Shah told him to reach out to the uh, civil society group. He was doing that, but yesterday Rahul Gandhi came and the allegations that were coming up from the Congress, that hurt him the most. That's what we are getting it from our sources. We spoke to Virain Singh yesterday itself, where he was tell, telling us that he's only considered, uh, he's now only concerned about the law and order situation. He also told at that point of time that everything was ready for Rahul Gandhi. Why did he take a chopper? So all these questions we had, you know, we had a talk with Virain Singh yesterday. At that point of time, he was saying all these things. But it was very clear that he was very hard and the fact that he wanted to resign came up from there.
Right, Kamalika. It's, it's interesting that you highlight the role play, being played by the presence of opposition parties like uh, the Congress's Rahul Gandhi as well, uh, primarily. But having said that, important to highlight how the support and, and uh, uh, towards uh, the Chief Minister has also been sharply divided when we look at uh, a certain section of the Mete or the Cookie community. You know, the Chief Minister is also perceived to be a very controversial figure within Manipur. Yeah, definitely, because the other community, they are not at all ready to take the Chief Minister and they are asking for the President's rule. Now, you remember when Amit Shah also visited Chura Chandpur, there... Uh, Biren Singh could not go. So that is also a very big question that in a state where he is the chief minister, one portion of the state, he can't go because he is not welcome there because uh, because of the, you know, whatever the situation there is on the ground. So there where, you know, all these questions were coming up. Also questions were coming up that whether he was handling the law and order situation properly, whether he let things go on the first day. So all those questions uh, have also coming uh, has also uh, there and 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 obviously the cookie community they are not at all they even when his name was there in the peace committee they came out of the peace committee they rejected the idea of peace committee so all these things is also there and these are all challenges that the BJP government is facing there but at the same time he has a huge support at his uh, at the in the valleys and and you see. He could not just go, go he, did, he went out, but he could not just give his resignation because then we have the letter uh, with us where it was clearly written that he wanted to resign, but he could not do that. So now he, I mean, how things will be balanced, that is yet to be seen. But what he decided from his own mind to go and resign. He will rethink it. That's what we are getting it from. All right, Kamalika, continue to stay with me because I'm also joined in by Payal, who's joining me live right now. Uh, Payal, uh, this is indeed a huge development, even though the chief minister is assured that he will most likely reconsider his decision to resign. Having said that, one cannot overrule the fact that this comes a day after Rahul Gandhi made a very controversial visit uh, to Manipur yesterday, where he also, uh, where it was also reported that he was stopped by the cops. But when we talk about the opposition's role, it does seem to have also played a role as far as uh, the chief minister tendering in his resignation, the decision to do so is concerned. Well, as far as that is concerned, one must remember that the opposition parties had demanded his resignation and his stepping down and putting the uh, Manipur Assembly constituency, basically putting the Manipur Assembly under suspended animation. In that meeting that took place, you know, a week or something ago with Amit Shah, the Union Home Minister, who had called for an all-party meeting. Having said that, the way in which the things have really panned out, peace had, uh, you know, peace had begun to return uh, to Manipur. You saw Dr. Sambit Patra, the BJP's national spokesperson, also speak about it yesterday. But yes, yesterday was a huge face-off between the Manipur establishment and Rahul Gandhi over his wanting to go to a location where he was asked to go by chopper. Now, having said that, I've uh, been told by my sources in the Manipur chief minister's office that yesterday, he uh, late night, he held a meeting with some of his MLAs and then came up with the idea that, you know, probably he would like to, he, would, he should step down as well. So that is where actually the entire matter uh, took, took light from. And after that, we saw that, you know, in the morning, uh, uh, you know, there was, of course, a huge buzz that he would, he would step down, probably he would seek a meeting with the governor at 1 o'clock. Then that meeting was moved to 3 o'clock. We've seen these mighty pibers, you know, these lady uh, activists mm. who have been uh, part of the IMA market. Now, mm. remember, Akansha, IMA market is the largest market in Asia, which is run by women and is for women as well. Mm. So these, these women descended upon his house. They refused to move. I've also been told by my sources that he tried to reason out with them and tell them that he was not going to do anything. But he was going there to just uh, brief the uh, governor about the developments uh, with the center. But these women would not budge. They would not leave his house. And they said that they will not leave his house. Where, and there's no way on, on earth that he can actually go to the governor's house as well. But like, the, the resignation letter being in tatters is what we have seen. That's coming uh, to us from confirmed sources in the chief minister's office, which clearly means that Biren Singh has been forced to reconsider his decision. Remember, he tried to step out of his house to go to the governor's house. We've seen hundreds and hundreds of women lining up the street next to his house and some even inside his house, forcing him to take that decision, forcing him to take that call. But, you know, as far as the BJP and the BJP government goes, you know, they do not function like that, you know, uh, uh, Akansha. They basically will, uh, you know, go by the will of the people. They will not succumb to the pressure of the opposition. Or, you know, to say that just because Rahul Gandhi came right. in and made an issue about this, they asked Biren Singh to... Right. That's fair enough, not, uh, fair enough, Payal, because when Many you make that point, when you do make that point, at the heart of this is the fear of the Mete community,